nice and interesting, fun uh, trailer. One of the many that came out, I believe, with the uh, the new Marvel Disney stuff. Yeah, one of the many stuff. Yeah, for sure. Because there was um, absolutely a ton of stuff. Obviously, uh, what, what yeah. did you what did you think about that trailer? <clears throat> Um, that looked good. The Loki trailer looks good. Um, I'm not really, I was never really a big fan of the character too much, but um, the trailer does make it seem very interesting to kind of check out. So in the what it's going on? Yeah, in the relative scheme of things, I was never like a big Loki fan as compared to you know like some of the other characters I read, Batman, Wolverine, etc. But I he does show up a lot in different comics like a lot uh and i will say there's some interesting things they brought into this so i didn't notice the first time i ran through that that they mentioned the tva okay which i don't remember if you remember the tva in marvel but i believe that's the time variance authority oh okay okay i don't think i've heard that one that group just yet it could Um, be yep no, there it is. Time Variance Authority. Yep. And they're basically time cops. That's what I was thinking. Okay. I believe they yeah. originally showed... They, they got some other stuff. So I'm not super familiar with them. I just know uh, that they are... Uh, You know, like t- I can't. There's a there's a DC version of it where it's like time cops, and the oh. the dude from Legends of Tomorrow is one of them, or used to be one oh, of them. The uh, I see. the the hunter or whatever. I don't remember. Um. So I think it's really cool that they have him doing the time variance authority stuff, especially following Endgame, as well as the fact that that particular Loki is kind of displaced from time. Yeah. Or at least it's space and somewhat, which I don't know. There's a whole time space thing. Uh, the other cool thing is they meant they right at the end there. They I don't know if you noticed it, but they did the uh, shout out to the recent Loki for president run. Yeah, that's what I thought. That kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, that's that absolutely uh, what it was. Yeah, because I was like, oh, that seems so familiar. And I was like, yeah, they just did a Loki comic. That was it just the beginning of this month, wasn't it? Or mm-hmm. this year, I mean. It's, actually, I think it was probably end of last year. But Maybe, because there wasn't well, that many issues that they, they did, right? They probably did have a Loki comic this year, but I don't think it was that Loki comic. Uh, I think okay. Loki Runs for but, President is probably 2019. Okay. And it's called, yeah, vote, oh, wow, no, Vote Loki is 2016. Oh, wow. So that's, we're both way wild, off. Man. Yeah. But, but I do, but it, like you said, it was not a very big run, big run, I believe at all. I think it was like a one issue or a five issue run at most. Um, it looks like they have him working for the Time Variance Authority. Uh, I saw maybe some hints of multiverse stuff hinted at that because of that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I could scan through the uh, trailer again, I guess. But it might take a second to find what I'm looking for because I I thought there was like somebody else wielding uh, Mjolnir in one of the one of the scenes, but it could have just been a random Viking. Also, you got the look at Black Widow, uh, and a bunch of other things that really just made it a pretty interesting. I think a pretty interesting commercial for what I think is essentially a TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it looks good. So I'll I'll definitely be checking that out. Um, Is that, yeah, I was more excited for the Star Wars stuff that they announced more they than had, anything. I um, they had a lot of Star Wars stuff, and I only liked like stuff. three of the t- titles. Like I felt like Which a lot one? of the titles were extra. All right, so here let's pull up the big uh, new Star Wars shows. I oh, and had... I guess can we spoil that one? Because there was also another show announced. But yeah, it's not on yeah, it's list. not on that it list. Was... I'd say we'll wait until the end of this list to spoil it. Uh, but I'd say we'd be fine spoiling it. It's been a couple days now, and this is what we talk about. Okay, that one's interesting. We know the Mando season three is coming. Uh, yes, they that's announced pending. it that for next green... year, December. Was... Yeah, yeah, that was greenlit on it. We knew that was going to get greenlit before season two came out. 
season two could have been Garbo and it still would have got a third season. That's just if you get a really good first season, that's how it works. You know what I mean? I I can't remember a show that has a very, very hype first season that doesn't make it to three. Uh, then we got Ashoka, ah- Ahsoka, which is pretty good. I, uh, you know, I, I'm excited for that one because I want to see if they're going to explore, if we get an Ezra, Bridger, and Sabine kind of stuff going on there. Because I actually just finished watching uh, Star yeah. Wars Rebels now, and uh, there is still that, you know, yeah, kind of like, well, where did Ahsoka uh, and Sabine, did they ever find did, Ezra? Did they so, ever officially finish Rebels? Yes, they officially okay. finished it. They fill in, uh, came in and said like he was done with like the, at least the animation version of that of okay. that tale um and it was a good you know ending but it, the way they ended it is that you know sabine and ahsoka kind of look for ezra because he kind of did like a last minute sacrifice for everyone but technically it looks like he's still alive because well if we now that we know thrawn's still alive because uh yeah. he's mentioned in the mandalorian show so he so they're so I'm guessing they're both oh, alive. Although so that was that another cool. thing is the end of well, but we'll talk about that at the end of that. Uh, so then we have Rangers of the New Republic. So I'm I'm okay interested in Ahsoka. She was never like a real big character for me necessarily, but I think it's because I felt like she was an added character to give Anakin more uh, likability in the mm-hmm. Clone Wars saga. Because people didn't like Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker at first. You know, I never did, but you know, he's grown on me, and I think I, a lot I kinda, of that has I kinda, come from. I, I like, I like I, him now. As I always Anakin. really liked him as uh, Anakin, actually. Yeah, I, I don't, I, just, I don't know why. I just think I just the did. the dialogue that they picked for him sometimes wasn't the best uh, in the prequels. There was a couple his, of stuff. Was his like, dialogue yeah. delivery was not his uh, f- his strength as an actor his strength was in his strong looks yeah that yeah that's very and, true yeah <laughs> and not and not even in the sense of like he was a good looking person but in the sense that he gave very powerful like oh yeah looks, even when he's know? uh starting to turn to the dark side you just yeah. like oh wow he's he's yeah he's getting it i see it on his face he's evil no but um <laughs> uh so rangers of the new republic i am not because i don't believe that one i think that was going to be mostly about space pilots i, f- I felt like that one they said was going to be more on the mando again but that was it, i don't know it's, I didn't look it's going one. to be a spin-off of the mando uh and a lot have speculated that it's uh gonna just jokingly be about some of these <laughs> uh x-wing pilots that saved the mando from the ice spider hmm. But it yeah, could be could about be anything. The, the the point being, though, is it's going to definitely about be about New Republic soldiers. And I don't give a yeah. shit about New Republic soldiers. Yeah. I mean, they could. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how they do. Here's the thing. You know, maybe, um, it's, maybe it goes along that kind of Rogue One style and really impresses me. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here, that's the first one I'm really excited for. So, and then that the big announcement that you that he's coming back to play Anakin yeah, the, was pretty big as well. I thought. That, oh yeah, Anakin. I thought that you were gonna say the uh, Obi Wan, but because he. Oh no! Yeah, we yeah, kind of. Yeah, him coming said that back from gonna Anakin's play. gonna be cool. I don't know exactly how that's gonna go because I don't know what their story's gonna be. But yeah, it, it's at the very least after the. Uh, oh wow, that'll be interesting. The Order sixty six is what so they said. I, so. so I mean. I guess that's cool, but what's the point? Because if it's ten years after sixty six, he's gonna be in the Vader suit. Yeah, no, that and, I, and we'll, like yeah. absolutely destroyed, right? Like just can't mm. canonically. No, no offense to him, but that after that, he's no longer Hayden Christensen. He's yeah, no Darth Vader. Yeah, I'm curious how they'll do that too as well. Maybe it'll um, do really maybe, well. Maybe they'll do a couple scenes. Oh, you maybe know what? With the it's probably off. it'll probably be in flashbacks. Yeah, that could. Yeah, they could do the flashbacks. I bet I you. See that in, I bet you he'll do flashbacks, and who knows? Maybe he does a pretty good Vader. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Andor. No, I'm cool. I don't care. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Andor. Well, I guess that one's supposed to be kind of hitting off of the Rogue One movie, yeah. right? Yeah, and I like the one of the characters from the from that sh- that movie. Yeah, it's this prequel to uh, Rogue One, and it's supposed to be the spy thriller. 
And is is it a movie or a show? I thought that, show. I felt like that one was going to be a movie. Nope, show. Okay, it's a show. So okay. it's 12 episodes long with over 200 named cast members and could even go a step further than the Mandalorian in scale. There's actually a sizzle reel we can probably watch a little later after we give ourselves okay. some time. to. Yeah, avoid. there was a, uh, yeah, there was something that they so released I'm, as well for that one. I'm not excited for Andor, but mostly because I felt like, um, the last time they tried to do something like this was, uh, force awakens or no, yeah. like, uh, with the whole uh, Finn and the one chick and they're at the casino planet. Mm-hmm. And I felt like that fell flat. That was like a really flat part for me. Well, that well, the whole thing, that scene was just was just really not needed. To tell no, you the truth. it wasn't. <laughs> that's, what a lot, that's what a lot of people didn't like about that it was just like, really? Like there, there was really no need for it. I mean... And there wasn't really like another connection that the two characters that, that you know we got from it. I don't no, know. I yeah. felt like we really got no need of it from or nothing in it for the story, really nowhere. So yeah, that that seems very very weird. And, and so in the same way, like Andor for me is like, I don't like Rogue One. I only cared about because of the way it fit back into. Oh yeah, it did a good job of fixing a yeah. very big plot hole. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which are there's still some other stuff, but it at least helped. Uh, whereas I didn't feel like there was any big holes for me at the start of Rogue One, so I don't need a lead up into Rogue One now. Would it be interesting sometimes, you know, like to get the early story? I don't even remember who the Andor was. Yeah, I don't really know. Don't so really, it does I would have not, to rewatch that movie, right? To... And and my thing is, if I didn't care enough the first time going through the movie and I've gone through the movie more than once. So it's not even just the first time enough to remember, even remember his name. Mm-hmm. I just, it's just not on my list of movies that I care about. Right. Like maybe it'll be good. I'm not saying it'll be good or not. I just don't care about that movie because I don't care about that character. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He didn't make an impact on me in the first uh, time his of appearance. Like he's he's probably and I only know kind of because I'm looking at uh, one of the sizzle reels on the side or whatever or a thumbnail. Uh, he's probably the main like guy or whatever from Rogue One. You know what I mean? The yeah. antagonist, the secondary male antagonist. Yeah, yeah he was. It uh, was uh, and he kind of had it was that love thing between him and the yeah the female. But but the on. Beyond that fact, in which I could have kind of guessed from the f- learning that he was related to Rogue One, but beyond that, I don't know. I couldn't tell you anything about him, like what he was. He yeah. was. He was like a. Uh, I don't know, like a a different style of Han Solo. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I can see that. Um... Well, so and then I guess what was what was some of the other ones? I guess we had on our list. We had here. So Andor, we did that. Ahsoka, did the Obi One, um, Bad Batch. That was that sounds pretty cool to watch. Uh, that the actually Animated does Wars. look good. That that does look pretty good. That and Vision. Vision sounds really interesting. I was looking at Visions, but I didn't actually get to see any of the. Uh, art yeah, or there's anything. nothing. I don't think there's anything. I don't out think there's there any there. art, and so it it looks like it'll be cool. But it might, I mean, but I don't know what it's some Japanese well, so, anime, uh, it, Star Wars, right? <laughs> and for me, it, it goes along the same line of, uh, Batman Ninja. Didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, it wasn't it's just, that great. It, it was okay, it, it, but it was needed, not great. And, it, and the funny part is I thought that one even had a decent-ish, uh, plot to it, but mm-hmm. not such a good plot that I was kind of like, okay, with I'm going back and showing right. good times. Where I was well, like, hopefully they do pretty good with getting a, a number of amount. Cause they said they had a few directors that are going to do. I think that you know, was the vision shorts. part. I liked mo- most was that it had a bunch of different creators. So even if one so get different styles, right. And you're almost sure to get one that you'll enjoy. You know what yeah. I mean? And, oh, and mo- <laughs> more more than likely more than that but i think of it like black miller black blah, 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 black mirror or love death and robots where each of these are self-contained episodes and styles mm-hmm. of different you know what i mean and so you may not like this episode but you know next episode you may very much enjoy right uh yeah. and so i i 
I'm excited for Visions, but not in the same way I'm excited for Obi-Wan, where it's like, all right, I know I want to watch Obi-Wan and Visions. I'm like, I'm excited to see what they have coming. Yeah, I just want to see more, like, yeah, we'll right. just see some yeah, right. anime for Star Wars. It'd be cool as all. Um, that'd be nice to see. Um, now, this one right here, there, I don't think there was a lot of um, information on this show. Um, but it's the Star Wars, the Alkali. Yeah, I was just looking at that one. Uh, according to what I'm reading, they're talking about maybe like with Palpatine and his old master, um, Dark this... Plagueis. It may be something around that story. Who knows? That's that's what some of the speculation so, I've heard of. But... So apparently, it's supposed to take place during the High Republic, so a couple yeah, hundred see, years so... before that. Hmm. But that time is actually the time of the Jedi. But it's obviously that be, would also be the time of like uh, Palpatine and his master, of course. Plagueis, right? Yeah, Plagueis. So maybe, I mean, I would like to see that because that was a cool little Although, thing, you know. Reports indicate that it's probably a female centric show. Okay. Uh, yeah, just, I don't yeah. Know. Hmm. I'm curious, yeah, I'm very curious on what it's going to be about. Cause, I uh, that think title, it's... Hmm. The, if I had to make a guess based on the... Though, all those facts put together, I'm going to guess it would be one of the the old Sith offshoots. Like the Sisters of Night kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. Because, Something like that, yeah. The Alkalite. Because I, when I hear that, I think of... Uh, I never remember her name. Starts with a V. They introduced her in uh, Clone Wars, the animated series. Uh, she oh, you're was, talking about? Um, she was kind of the uh, apprentice yeah, of. Yeah, I yeah, know yeah. About that. Um, oh, what's her name? Her... I just had her name in my. Why can't I think of it right now? I even there's an action figure for it's her coming Ventress, out. Ventress, Asajj Ventress. Ventress. There we go, yeah. Ventress. I I could remember the second part, but not the first part. Uh, but yes, she always reminds me more of the Alkalites who were Sith based, but not. Or that's what I think of when I think of the term. I don't think there was yeah. actually a group called the Alkalites. But okay. that one yeah. looks interesting once again in the sense that one looks interesting as opposed to being for me being excited for it. Like I'm I'm interested to see what they're gonna do for it. But I don't know because we didn't get as much information. We don't know as much about yeah, it. They're really keeping this one secret. So uh, uh, I'm very curious you, on yeah. what they're trying to hush hush on. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Lando, which I... Well, you know, I've never really... I've never been a fan of him either. It's another character. It's like, I know there's people that like this character, I, but... I like uh, Lando just fine. And it's weird because I like... Uh, Donald Glover a lot as well, but I didn't like yeah. his Lando as much as uh, Billy D. Kings was it Billy D. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, who? Which? And, and no offense to him once again, but it's just man, Billy D. is cool. He's a cool yeah, guy. yeah, he is. I mean, um, he does good. But besides so, that, I mean, it was. It'd be cool to see though. How yeah, that one comes it's out. just once again not on my list of like yeah excited to see rogue squadron uh now what do you think about that one that one's going to be directed by uh patty jenkins that's the, the I, one who did um, i'm all, wonder woman i almost want to care about this one because i used to read about some of the the squadron in some of the old books Okay. You'd get a little more information about these guys who would inevitably die in 30 seconds in the original movie. You know right. what I mean? It's, it's, that's how writers like to write sometimes. Um, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. They also featured in uh, the X-Wing series. So that they actually mentioned it in this post that that's where Rogue Squadron is originally featured from is Michael A. Stackpole's X-Wing series which uh, is also the name of the video game series released on the N64, etc. Hmm. Okay. Um, nice. And they, they were just a little... They were interesting because they were kind of like this suicide, do or die team mm -hmm. that were always going off and doing their own thing. And I want to care about them, but 
I'm not sure how it's going to go in more in the sense that I'm don't know if uh, I'm as interested in stuff like that now as I was back then. Back then, it you was know, like I, reading I Anders just, I just want and... some like old, uh, old, old, like Jedi stuff. Like you said, like if we've been old Republic kind of or even further than that one. Um, yeah, I would re really love some more stories of that, like of how the Jedi became to be. That would be more cool to me. I think they they need to do something like that. Oh, soon, absolutely. The the old school stuff is really, I think, important. It builds big world stuff. Well, I heard they're supposed to be doing uh, animation for the that new High Republic um, book oh. that's coming out here. I think next month or this month. Maybe it's this month. That's interesting. Yeah, so they, they have everyone uh, planned already uh, out the gate. So I don't know when it's uh, planned to release, but probably soon, I would assume. So here's one that I'm actually, another one I'm interested in is a droid story. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a excited, not but, excited, but I'm a little interested in that yeah, one too, just I, to see, you know, a little bit more of the stories of life. Of I would be cool if they did like shorts on that one too, or it was a different droid each episode or something. That or, would be I pretty know, interesting. Be cool. I, I would literally just like it because it's, once again, some of those original casts. So it's somewhat the nostalgia factor, but also some of the fact of, it reminds me of like Pet Avengers. Yeah, you know what like I mean. That. Yeah. Very much these side characters get to get their own thing. Uh, then uh, yeah, we got uh, Taiki uh, Watiti's that... Star Wars movie. Which one? We uh, Taiki Watiti is going to be doing a Star Wars movie. Back. Yeah, they didn't say anything about it though, right? What it was no, going to be about? But it'll become. But it'll be coming right after Rogue Squadron. And okay. it's supposed to be fresh, unexpected, and unique. Knowing him, we're getting either an Ewok movie or The Sand People. <laughs> That'd be cool. I actually um, wouldn't mind if he did it. Uh, yeah. But yeah, those are those are the Star Wars ones. And so I'm excited for them, but I was really excited to get some more stuff on some of the Marvel. Especially having gone a year with no Marvel stuff, basically. Yeah. And we just got... Uh, speaking of the other thing... We just got finished with The Mandalorian Season 2, so we've just been getting a nice, heavy, good dose of Star Wars as opposed to, like, some moderate or mediocre doses of Star Wars. So it was good, yeah. It was a good uh, good year to end off with some with a good episode of Star Wars. I, that that last episode of Mandalorian, though, Oh, man, they like, got me for sure. I was like, I knew, I told you they were going to have him come up. I knew he was going to... I, they were gonna do it once and, again. They hadn't set the universe in a very good frame. I know, right? Yeah, it, kind of. But now at least now we kind of have a good sense of idea of yeah, where exactly this kind of yeah sits in the the timeline of everything. And yeah, uh, but I'm I'm curious now, kind of where that story is gonna go because you know they have to explain it. Where like Grogu doesn't show up in the rest of the trilogy movie, so I'm curious on how they're gonna kind of play out. I that. feel like that was already explained in the beginning of the other movie. <laughs> That was waiting for people to like make that connection of, uh, all right, I will take him and train him. <clears throat> Kylo Ren killed all of my other students. Yeah, I guess that's kind of where it ends up. Right? I hope it doesn't go that. Like, I hope that it ends up though where they. Uh, Grogu escapes again. He got away the second like he, sixty. He teaches him for a little bit before he goes into doing that whole. Uh, yeah, I just, well, um, I just couldn't yeah, help. Me make though, yeah. the, the, it's, <laughs> it, now to be fair. Obviously, it could go another way. Uh, the only reason yeah. we kind of push towards either one of those is because we now know the timeline better. Like, we know when Grogu and him are here. We know uh, when Luke uh, and Kylo Ren show back up in the story 20, 30 years later, right? Mm -hmm. After Luke is now uh, 60 or whatever. And... They, so now but we, let me we just have say a they, they did they, you know what they did they they did a rogue one badass scene at the end that that's exactly how i felt watching that when he came oh, yeah. in and he was just oh, doing yeah. all he, that they gave like, him that for they definitely gave him that for that reason i i will say i liked the uh the fact that they kept the very simple style of yeah, older stars yeah. while incorporating a little bit of kind of new uh you know, a little bit more of the new new spinning kind of style that we got from the second of uh, the prequel trilogy. Uh, because those were, one, those were real sword fighting styles, so that always, you know, helps in validity. But two, 
they are very they're getting very good at nuancing the the old and the new. Yeah. And exactly. I think that yeah. I think the fighting style of that scene really shows that well. Yeah, even for just not doing all the hoppity hop, you know, and everything yeah, and all well, the stuff like you, from the prequels, it, it still they did a good job of like doing that that two hand combat. It was awesome. I thought it was cool. Even just him crushing, like just showing his his uh, force oh, yeah, power. Yeah. That was just really cool. I thought which, that was awesome. Which we we needed something like that because uh, you don't get to see a lot of badass scenes of like well, Luke and, and obviously great. that was a limitation of yeah yeah of that, the exactly. times. So but, this, I think, this really appeased to plans that were huge Star Wars fans since the beginning and Luke Skywalker fans since the beginning, and then they were like, "This is the Luke we've always wanted to see." <laughs> well, <laughs> and once again, you needed a scene where Luke really got to be a badass, as much as the one scene or whatever at the end of the last trilogy was cool, mm-hmm. um, or the the end of the second uh, movie. There was. <sighs> Just something about the scene that really was reminiscent of the original trilogy, beyond even just the music and the styling. Like something about Luke showing up at that moment, uh, in particular, where it's like, all right, he comes in. I I will say that there was uh, there were a couple of things I can't remember near the start that had me a little irked for some of the some of the movement of the story but they made up for it later with that as well as some of the death trooper stuff yeah yeah that that was cool too yeah i like that that was I, a really i will say yeah. they did pull a lot on the nostalgia factor but they did it in the way it's supposed to be done so i can't really yeah harsh them there's too a badly. there's a meme going out there that says uh what did it say i posted it i think i thought i posted it on mine Oh yeah, it's, it says right here. So it's J.J. Abrams right on the first page, and it goes, "You can't satisfy the original trilogy fans." Yeah, I've seen that one. The younger audience, and John Farrell was just like, "Hold my beer." <laughs> so yeah. it's like you know they they can pull on that nostalgia, but then they are doing a good job of like kind of appeasing temp- to a new The generation. thing is, they're not relying on it necessarily. Yes, they're not just really, utilizing as it as one of the many tools in the toolkit. You know what I mean? And they're Which doing a good job be. of kind of like disconnecting everything to you know like where oh, yeah. everything should be in the universe and it i think they're doing a good job of that and yeah. plus you know it's a good job of like where well hey we can add luke let's do a luke kind of 30 second scene and yeah then... that was the only thing about that where i was just <laughs> like all right i'm gonna forgive the shitty cgi and we're gonna let it ride but yeah that was awful cgi that was well, real, I think real they rough. were they that they do all that at the time they do that all the time right when they did the when was it uh, Moff uh, Tarkin they did the same thing right uh, for the I think the new trilogy they, that one was they, much better though that it was well the difference was that one was a facial recreation see and I thought that's what they would they kind of did they in the did best, not, and it's a TV not, show yeah. though so right probably, it has a smaller budget they didn't have the money to do that I can tell but, from work, no, working okay. on some of that it no, was. That, it was, right. it was very obviously. My mom, my moved. mother was like, they made him look so like it's him still. I'm like, yeah, they did. I mean, that, you could tell it's because it's, but... cut, it's, <laughs> it's like cut footage from the original trilogy, basically. See, and that's okay. With so edited that's mouth probably, movements mostly. Uh, okay, so that's, that's kind of what they. I want, who was the original, the actor, though, that they had to put the face on? Though, uh, that I don't know. I don't know who is body acting. You know, uh, honestly, they missed an opportunity, and they should have got what's Sebastian his name? Stan. Yeah, especially <laughs> especially because he's already doing stuff with Marvel for the uh, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier stuff. Yeah, so why you wouldn't time. just like fold him in? Like, hey, we need you to hop over onto this other screen. We'll pass you a couple hundred extra. I mean, it's not that much. It was only a. T- what five minute scene for him yeah if even because you only really need him for the scenes where his face shows up yeah exactly yeah because most of the time yeah his face wasn't shown yeah he's just uh, flip, you know doing his thing which once again they did a really good job on that i really enjoyed the depiction they, of the fighting they, they, they pay attention to the details so much for sure i mean i love the like oh, yeah. even when they show this I just think the, the production hand, you know? yeah the production on it's very high like the level of all right look we know we we exist in a pre-structured world right they they understand the importance of the narrative Mm -hmm. right and there are some times where it's like a little uh they they lose it a little bit but most of the time they're they're so 
attentive to the fact that all right we've done this we have this in the winds if we need it we've we've established these facts about the place that we're in and we need to adhere to these facts or we already know these facts about the universe right that luke has a mechanical hand that keeps it covered by a glove almost always in all the movies he's not like vader who just kind of went you know retro uh just little things like that as well as the bigger things of course and the blending of the new and the old once again having the cgi and the old school fx really does change shit i think like yeah of course you know it's just episode to episode but it's it was pretty good i will say that the pacing in this season was a little bit different yeah a little bit different yeah for sure but i think it's because of sorry i think it's because they basically had like this one big adventure split over the two seasons yeah yeah um i'm yeah i'm I'm pretty sure i don't know i'm excited to see what next season brings um I wonder how much longer they can go for with this, um, since you know yeah, we kind of we gotten lost over our... with the Grogu story, and uh, I just wonder what so... they're gonna have him do. Because uh, I I imagine now it goes into figuring out the dark end, saber, right? Because it's it, got a... it does eventually, and they have a bunch of other stuff going, so they can't keep it all juggling at once. Mm-hmm. Although maybe they can. I don't know, man. This is Disney, but. Uh, <laughs> But I imagine it's going to go in the direction of Jin and the Dark Saber and all this stuff. That'd be cool with some Sabine, because yeah, well, there was. It's uh... been left sitting, and you know what I mean. It's the Mandalorian, so we'll see where that they, goes. They had already kind of like reconciled the old and new Mandalorian lores, so now they're just yeah. like hammering out whatever they want to do with it. Uh, and then, speaking of the one spoilery one that we had to got to now that we've gone through all this spoiler stuff anyway, is uh, Boba, the Book of Boba Fett, which is our yeah. last show, which is the other one I'm excited for. So I had like three or four I was excited for, and that was one of the three or four. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. I would like to see more uh, dad bods Boba Fett. <laughs> you know, I was, a, I was a bit not happy about that in particular. And once again, I think the reason I wasn't is because they didn't take the time or trouble to like make him look cool beyond looking like slim or whatever. He was mm-hmm. also like very more rustic still and like the sand Boba. But once you got into the these last couple episodes where he's back to more traditional armor and moving in these are not moving, but in a, in a more, you know, uh, classic Boba Fett style, it's much easier for me to be like, all right, this is Boba Fett. He's just a little older now. Yeah. All right. That, now. That, that was one of the ones they got me was, it was the Mandalorian fight and it was, uh, I can't remember which one, but they overpower and pull Boba Fett. I was like, Boba Fett was literally picked as a nearly perfect genetic specimen to populate an entire clone army. (laughs) That was it. It was like, all right, but is she going to pull him, that 90-pound little girl? Let's let it. Let's go. (laughs) He's also older and more experienced than her, but God forbid... (laughs) It was just all these levels of things where I was like, all right, that one pulled me. That was one of those early ones that pulled me from the narrative just slightly where I was like, eh. Mm. <laughs> well, um, now that we're still kind of the longest space themes, you know, that I was excited for, but I still kind of a little iffy about it just because what they're going to do with it. They're going to do an alien show on FX. Yeah, I did see that. Uh, um, wasn't it being produced by who's... the Fargo guy who did and uh, and Legions uh, Noah Haley? So there's two people working on it, or just one person. But the yeah, they did Fargo and they did Legions. So um, my pops watches Fargo, which he says is pretty interesting. I've heard it's pretty good. Yeah, people like it. it it's uh, it's stylistic for sure. I don't think everybody would like it um no it's probably yeah it's 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 for a certain audience for sure but um, uh <clears throat> having said that it's it's supposed to be very well made and of course it's still now, being made so the thing is it, the way where this is set at is like where i'm a little iffy at so it says expect a scary thrill ride set not too far in the future here on earth so 
to me, that sounds like it's kind of in our time, but just maybe a few years in the future. So I don't know how I feel about it being so close to our time. I would like it to be further out into the future, but so I, I, I don't know how they're going to go with like, are they going to do the alien kind of spaceship technology? Or are they going to do kind of something different in style because it's mm. not that kind of far out, far out to the future that we've had in the alien movies. So the other we'll thing, see. and here's the other thing being with the exception of space travel itself, a lot of the, even the technology and the processes that we had viewed in these old alien movies and comics are actually less optimized than the stuff we do now. Right? Like, yeah. Computers now are much more advanced than even oh, yeah. Ridley and them would have thought them to be at the time, or at least much more integrated. Mm -hmm. uh, Definitely, it's just the feel, though. Like you know, no, when you no, watch no. The Alien... safe by the there's a, there's definitely a uh, a feel, but a uh, motif Style too as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Alien definitely hit that kind of deep space. Motif. I wonder if they might play off of the Alien versus Predator motif here, where it was. But I agree that I I kind of like it a lot. Ooh, sorry. <sighs> I like it a lot as the space motif, but I also think it's been done a lot. Yeah, it it's has been done, been done a, a lot. lot. And and those some of the ones that are done are good. The things that the old aliens rely on are some of the things that we point out as being very classically tropey in uh current horror right like shock scares bursting of the chest now there are things such as like the incubation fear stuff and you know the uh the infestation facts that are a little you know unique for it but in a lot of ways mm -hmm. the alien a series of a body horror kind of uh body horror and and once again i feel like of heavy at least the older aliens maybe not the newer aliens which were a little more cerebral because they had uh who was the actor uh who played the new young magneto and, and i think his name started with an a andrew oh you're talking about uh the, the clone guy yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, not uh, the clone but the android the guy. android yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and so the new ones are more cerebral but the old ones were more shock value and blood and gore you know what i mean those were the things that were and obviously those are the things that were popular during the time those movies were made so those were the things they went with but now i think they'll need to take a whole new approach you know what I mean? Especially yeah. as a television show, it's it needs something fresh to keep it relevant and interesting in like the modern uh -huh. day. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm a like I said, I'm a huge Alien fan, so I'm gonna be excited either way. Oh yeah, yeah. And I really like uh, it. I'll watch it. It's just it makes me think of uh, Alien vs Predator too. I watched it and I liked it, but it wasn't I good. Yeah, yeah, but, but it, it wasn't, wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it and I liked it, but it wasn't good. <laughs> um, um, so I was also going to say, too, um, along those lines, let's see. Uh, oh, what did I just have? I had it on my list? Oh, so the the Alien comic will be coming out soon as well, too, okay. for Marvel. So oh, we'll see I how did that hear happens. that. I forgot that they had picked that up. So what I, artist uh, did they have doing it? Wasn't it? Didn't they have uh, a nice an interesting new artist on it or something i can't remember who was doing the artwork for it i don't think it was anybody i've ever heard of i know in huck lee was doing some of the covers so maybe that's what i was remember uh david finch did some of the cover art too. oh yeah david finch is doing a couple covers too so that would be pretty also, awesome also some of the predator stuff with uh avengers cross so you got like him holding iron man's helmet which is cool. I honestly think it's better for characters, especially the third party characters from Dark Horse and stuff, to get more interaction with these. Man, yeah, that'd be cool. I would like well, to see a crossover of Marvel. I, I just and think it's good. For, I just think it's good for them because it, then it brings their characters a little farther into the forefront and and farther and farther until we'll have a more balanced three party comic system. You know what I mean? Or mm -hmm. no longer have the dual party comic system 
and we can get some more image comic characters and some more dark horse characters and things like conan right like conan's back to being a big presence yeah yeah after he's uh... popping back up in marvel uh i'm trying to see who's actually writing these new alien comics Philip Kennedy Johnson, Salvador yeah, see, La Roca. See, these are some people I've never, I don't know of. So maybe okay. I've read their stuff. I just don't know. Uh, so Philip Kennedy is on Empire Captain America, and Salvador La Roca is the artist on Doctor Doom, which is okay. I like the art in Doctor no, Doom. No, well, I guess yeah, some of the art's pretty good. We'll see how it works. Um. But yeah, well, uh, I wonder if it's just going to be like a little mini series. I don't know if they said ongoing for this, but we'll see. Uh, I, um, I'm not sure for that either yet. But I think either. even a small uh, series is going to do a lot. So that would be interesting to watch. Um, so then I guess since we can kind of go more towards now a little bit more of their other announcements of Disney. Um, yeah. Uh, Rescue Rangers. Huh? What do you think of that? The live action slash. I thought um, it was interesting. Hybrid. I thought it was interesting that they had gotten the who and December. They, yeah, that was interesting. They had gotten him. I'm not sure I'm like happy about it necessarily or not happy about him it. As a comedian, he's always been my favorite after watching Hot, uh, Hot Rod. <laughs> I, see, I actually like Hot Rod, but I'm not like the hugest Andy, Andy Samberg fan. I've heard he was really good in uh, what is it? Uh, Five Oak. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. People love him in that show. That's he's supposed to be really well. good. Uh, um, oh, so another. Uh, Pinocchio movie, which I've already heard about this, but Tom Hanks is supposed to be playing uh, Geppetto. Um, and then we have the Little Mermaid live action movie coming out soon. Um, they released all their uh, actors and or cast for everyone. Um, I thought this is my favorite. So uh, Melissa McCarthy is going to be Ursula. <laughs> so that would, that would be interesting. Um, another Peter Pan movie as well. Um, I just wish they'd stop doing so many remakes lately. Like the last ten years, it's remake, 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 remake. Well, and they have a couple of new, uh, new stuff too. Actually, they, just they, couple, they do, much. but it's the amount of remakes in addition is just gets rough. Yeah. Uh, um, did, did you see the Mo Baymax now. series coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's gonna say here next, actually. Uh, nice. So they have a couple of uh, animation shows coming out. They have Moana, uh, Moana supposed to be coming out. Nice. Uh, they get the Baymax show. Uh, Zoo to- uh, Topia is supposed to be coming out. And another show called T- uh, Tiana. Um, don't know what that one's going to be is about. Is that the one? Yeah, isn't that the, yeah, I was going to say, isn't that the princess from... Uh... Tangled, maybe? No, I think I it's think the it's princess Tangled. for the princess and the frog or whatever. Or no, the... Uh... Oh, yeah. That might be from where it's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yes, it's the princess yes, and the frog. Yes, that is yeah. her. I just looked at the comments. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember how I knew that. Yeah. So there's that. Oh, well, one of the ones I was kind of excited for was the Hocus Pocus two movie announced for Disney Plus. I think I um, did hear about that. Didn't they get all the same cast back? Yeah. Yeah. They've had uh, that one in I the, know the witches. They did. Yeah. But they are, are, not all this. All right, but the main cast, which is really yeah, the witches, which is the kind of the more impatient one, I guess. I think they could recast the other ones. Well, the but kids, would they would just do new. Back. I think they would just do new kids entirely, right? The witches just come back yeah, and do a whole new. Do it just yeah, kind of reminds me of like the Halloween. Too. They don't have to. Obviously, you could bring the originals as well. Um, Maybe just as a cameo. For yeah. The yeah. Original. Yeah. Uh, and obviously there's a ton of great stuff coming out just in general for Disney because they always got, I mean, Disney does good work, even if they're not necessarily a nice company. Uh. <laughs> um, let's see then. And then if I go on to Marvel now, um, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier trailer looked pretty good. I thought it was interesting for sure. I like how they're getting their dynamic together. Obviously they did another WandaVision trailer, which is still shaping up to be kind of what i thought it would be yeah and yeah, exactly. uh loki we got a little more on the what ifs we know that we're getting a miss marvel with a kamala khan yeah they uh show us the trailer for that well not really a trailer but they were just talking about they had they pictures i think too and, didn't uh, they a couple stuff like that maybe yeah it, maybe not um, a picture but maybe it was so we just know she picture. hulk's okay. still happening Hawkeye um, is supposed to still be going on. I'll, yes, I'll, they have. And uh, we do have some, yeah. and we have confirmed that uh, Kate Bishop is in the show. Yes. Um, Although so I, we have her, so we may still get our Young Avengers, but it's definitely not going to be right now. 
It's going to no, be a no, little no. while. I yeah. think they're going to be planning this for the long run on those young Avengers. Yeah, it's uh, probably so going to be the next thing. Sure. So, uh, <laughs> She-Hulk, we got Moon Knight. Which I'm still kind of excited for, too. I can't wait till that comes out. And then we That'd have nice. Secret Invasion. Yeah, that was... Uh, I, and a lot of people kind of were speculating that was going to come out here next. Uh, but... I didn't think it was going to happen so soon. So that one's that one's an interesting one. Well, um, I, I think it's interesting that they're making it a series instead of a uh, event. But I think it's yeah. it's not a bad thing necessarily either because I think things like that, like the invasions, are better done as series than singular. You know what? I would like to do with the Secret Invasion if if they went went back and to the past of all the other Marvel movies and they actually you know said hey there was actually. Um, was it not uh, scrolls hidden without throughout the universe? And yeah. here's a couple episodes of so that'd be kind of cool, I guess. The, the um, problem is, you, I mean, you could do it in certain spaces for sure, but you'd have to like throw them in in spots where it makes sense for them to act yes. differently than their character. Uh, we had Ironheart and Armor Wars, which Ironheart was uh, was another one that I was not expecting so soon. I knew she was in the works, but like that's another one I was yeah not expecting that soon to very, come out. Very very quick for what I was really thinking we were gonna get. Uh, and that's not yes. offense like offended for it either. It's just no, like no, okay. No, no. Yeah, um, Armor I just Wars. Is, I think time. I think Armor Wars is a little much right now. I think they just did. We did so much Iron Man, but. I think It'll it's a cool good though. John Don Cheeto. I also think it's to... their cheaty chance to bring Stark back for a little bit for flashbacks. And once again, I think Marvel is smart and they're not going to just like drop down yeah. unless he's totally doesn't want to do anything. Well, he said he was pretty much done with it. Uh, he, uh... Well, he said he was done with movies for sure, but he is a well, he weird do guy. A show, yeah, let's just make a couple flashback scenes. <laughs> and they may go with the same thing they're doing with Luke and use his likeness in a, in a flashback, which I would rather they didn't. It, unless they go with the... I, 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 they're not quite at the 3D modeling level to do the face projection for me, but that's just mm-hmm. me. Um, what about that Ant Man and Wasp Quantumania one? That was interesting. I thought that was going to be a fun. I always one. like the Ant Man movies. I've always. I, yeah, I feel like they're the underrated, ones. like high. They they, they yeah. get a, a generally high score for me for being somewhat unique as well as uh, fun and like bubbly and what I still believe a superhero movie should be. Right. And no, um, and no offense to certain companies that no. But I'm excited offense. for the villain who's going to be in this movie. Who did they say they were getting for King that? The Conqueror. See, that's going to be well. They did go into the time aspect of it already, right. so that would be an John, interesting. Jonathan Majors is going to be playing uh, did King you, the Conqueror. Did you hear that they have uh, for Thor: Love and Thunder? It's. Uh, Christian oh, Bale yeah. as Gore the uh, God, God Butcher. Butcher. I was like, what? That's so and they're gonna soon. Christian Bale do it too. And Dude, I was like, oh my gosh. He, I can't wait to see what he does with it. He is such a person who inhabits a role that I wonder how much research he's gonna do into Gore because Gore is really a like a uh, type character. You know what I mean? He's not a average everyday kind of joke no, character no he he's very much almost in a similar way to batman like this persona of a character who has become somebody else you know what i mean you start as gore the slave and become gore the all the all butcher eventually yeah, I'm, I'm curious how they're gonna switch it up since it's gonna be jane foster instead of the the thor and then too because wasn't that story done like way 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 in the past the God of Thunder storyline, um, but arc. it was all done in in all timelines. Remember, oh, past, yeah. present, and future. So it, yeah, Gore yeah, existed right. at all times. Uh, so yeah, I'm curious how they're gonna do the story with they, this one. With they that character. do have uh, first came out. It's one of the newer. I characters. knew they had some shots. Uh, Lightyear, Lightyear, Lightyear. That was the other one I was thinking. Oh, for Buzz Lightyear, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, how do you feel though about Tim Allen not doing the voice, and they're gonna go with uh, Chris? I, you know, Chris Evans is good. I like him, and I, I feel like that's okay, but just because it he feels like they're doing the does, prequel story, so it's yeah, more of a so younger, he'll be younger, a younger style of Buzz Lightyear. I have Lightyear. to hear him. Uh, this may be one of the few cases where they get away with for me with like getting a different voice actor. The other thing is, I feel like 
Chris Evans already kind of talks like Buzz Lightyear's yeah. Captain America. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just kind of like that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he could change it up a little bit. Just a little like <laughs> more. I, well, like I imagine when he was like talking, when he was like playing Captain America in the movie, right? Where he mm. had, he was literally just a caricature or whatever. And he threw on the suit and went out and danced. And you remember at home to buy those war bonds and and do <laughs> yeah. your. I think that he was already hitting it. Now, once again, I'm I'm usually against revoice acting, but if you can't get it, you can't get it. So yeah. And if it's um, the whole concept of your show, it's not like you can just get rid of the character, which is usually my thing. Is like, all right, just get rid of the character, kill him off. Yeah. But and this this feels like they're gonna do kind of. Like, you know, remember the Buzz Lightyear show where it was more of like it was a more serious like he was an actual ranger. Right. And, as opposed uh, he was to on the... missions. Yeah. Instead of the actual being a toy. So that I think that's what they're kind of going for on this one. I think it'll um, be interesting. It'll be cool. I, I like that idea. Especially I... even that first image that we got to see. I mean, it looked more of like just a more serious, you know, Buzz yeah, Lightyear. <laughs> it, it definitely looked a little more serious. There was some other stuff, too. We got from Pixar's other stuff like Turning Red soul and uh, oh so yes yeah, coming out this christmas so you can watch it on disney plus this uh christmas day great. um that, oh there's good. a one pixar that came out it's called raya raya or raya 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 uh, oh um i do know the, the and the last dragon is the i did the, that one comes out march 5th i did hear about that one that one looks interesting so that's another Pixar. I I always love Pixar films. They Pixar always does put a their good job all into yeah. everything. Uh, um, now shoot. the one big the one big thing I wanted to announce is that Fantastic Four teaser that yeah, we got. Yeah, that was interesting. I'm not sure they're ready, man. People keep trying to tackle this and not getting it. I mean, if anyone can do it right, it's MCU. They have proven time and time again that they can take concepts that were either done wrong or not or not thought doable and make them uh -huh. possible without too much effort right like uh -huh. they made guardians of the galaxy work with what i felt was a, a minimum of effort for something like that they characters that nobody they, knew about and didn't care about and they yeah. made them very popular <laughs> they they, they re-brought the hulk in after two failed movies and made him popular with no movie of his own Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To the to the point that they could throw him in other people's movies with no purpose. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, that's that's work. Uh, same thing with characters like Captain America. Originally, Captain America's appearances have not been this great in TV mediums or things like that. Same with Thor. Back in the old Hulk. Meet. I mean, they did the best for their time. You know what I mean? But yeah, aside from that, we haven't really gotten a ton of them in the highlights and uh they really did pull him out of the uh either obscurity or the fire and put him back onto the stage highlight so i'm hoping they're able to do the same for here now my thing is i thought the original set of fantastic four movies wasn't all that bad they yeah, wasn't the great. first one was good yeah. first one was good second was me i didn't like uh, cloud i, galactus, I didn't like but that yeah, was I, was say, that was, I didn't like galactus but i think by but that then... time part of it was that i was a comic reader so i understood you that, know, that and that's what I was gonna accurate. say. I don't think that would have worked at that time. Probably it wouldn't work. It was for too way like, too soon for something like that. It, people are like this. I don't like this crap. This is too much. It's like, this why is there guy. just a giant guy in the sky? This is dumb. <laughs> this is so, like even more than the cloud. But no, I mean, and I, I like you. There was a reason that it didn't do well in theaters, and it didn't do well uh, for the comic community. But I think now with the way they understand how to frame their movies in the larger sense as well as time in i don't think they'll have too much trouble i am curious as to when all this stuff actually comes out because yeah because there's no title there or there's no date there's no no cast, and with, no and anything with, and we've already been waiting on other things like wandavision which i'm glad we got our second trailer but we've been waiting on things like that for a little while already and we're getting tired of waiting uh-huh um, um. Let's see. I am Groot show. 
That I did was, see uh, that was an interesting announcement. That yeah, was a very interesting one. We, we, uh, we still have the Shang Chi and the oh, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special as well. I've heard about yes, that. Yes, that was also another interesting yeah. one. Yeah, you know it's interesting because they do do these from time to time when they kind of slip under the radar. Uh, they did do a Marvel's Rocket and Groot show, which was animated. I think we talked about before. Yeah, I've seen a couple of them. Yeah, they're which, just like little shorts. Yeah, which were di- which was a Disney Plus exclusive, I think. Uh, but maybe not. I'm not sure. What I do know is it is out on Disney Plus, and it's like a little under the radar show. So some of these might end up being a little more like that. And I wonder if there's others coming that have not been announced yet. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Uh, and having said that, we're actually approaching our time, and we didn't even get to Cyberpunk, which maybe we'll do that next week. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just I guess wanted to go over my last list here. Uh, Shang Chi cast yep. list is here. That oh, one's almost yeah, done. that's Coming cool. Out soon. Really. Is it uh, is it really coming out though, or is it like soft coming out? <laughs> it's like it says July 9th, twenty twenty one. Well, hopefully uh, by that time. Well, you is, know, it's the in theaters. It doesn't say anything about Disney Plus on this one, so well, maybe by then they can do that. I don't know. Hopefully. Well, let's hope that our our vaccine rollout works and that. I don't know. I don't know how that all is going to go because yeah, people we'll see how that people happens. have different opinions. Ugh. And very, very about spread, that. yeah. Like I yeah. said, I, that's, I'm not qualified or care enough about it to uh, give people advice on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other big news, I guess, if we want to just talk about games really quick here, uh, was that Back for Blood game. What you think of that? That's the Turtle uh, Rock Studios, basically successor to Left for Dead Four. Oh, I had heard of it. I hadn't seen any of the play yet. It's it. Dude, look at it, bro. It looks so fun. And it's basically just left for dead. For you. <laughs> but they're yeah. just calling it Exploring back. And then what the, what's funny is they call it back tr- four with the number four. Yeah. So and it's like, you, mm, yeah, uh, we know what this is, guys. This is left for dead. Than for. Left for dead. <laughs> so it does, I think um, that, uh, uh, that was cool. Uh, I'm excited for that. Yes, check out some gameplay for that because they just show this a lot more of it here. And that one should be coming out soon. Um, I think next year. So we'll, we'll get to play that game here. A- um the Callisto Protocol, which was um, kind of has a Dead Space vibe, which makes sense because I think it's the same guy that that worked on that game is working on the new studio and is doing another kind of like Dead Space kind of game. So I thought that would be fun. Um, oh, Sonic 3D animated show coming to Netflix. Huh. Um, so that should be interesting. I feel uh, like the Sonic shows have just never quite hit their spot. Hopefully, this will bring some love back to him um, since that movie kind of did pretty good. Yeah, because the last one, true. Sonic Boom, uh, didn't yeah. do so well either. I wasn't a fan of that one. Oh, the Yu Yu Hakusho live action show coming, or yeah. series coming to uh, I saw that. Netflix. You know, it's <laughs> one of the few that actually stands a decent chance at live animation. I so. And I still think they're going to fuck it up. They just always <laughs> fuck it up, man. I mean, they did okay with Bleach. I, 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 I mean, hope they do the same. They, did, they we'll do see. okay. I'm waiting for a really good one. Yeah, yeah. That's um, what I'm Because they did okay with Roni Kenshin, too. Yeah, that yeah. first movie was amazing. I thought the fight scenes yeah, in that were good. great. They, they, there's a um, lot that's still very hard to transfer from animated. They, I feel mm-hmm. like they made it too serious. Um, oh, last couple things here. Hillary Duff did confirm that the Lizzie McGuire show reboot is canceled. Thank um, God. No, thank she, God. I just, she was excited for that show. I loved Lizzie McGuire growing up. I don't know why. I, I just liked to watch a couple of her shows. But I, I did, I but some, some shows um, have to die. You know what I, <laughs> I want? Is some, the Amanda uh, Cosby show back or whatever. Crosby. Oh yeah. They, uh, I guess there was just some, you know head clashing with her because she she wanted the show to be more a little bit more adult orientated because you know the characters are more grown up now and they're not those little kids anymore um but disney wasn't having it they were wanting it to be still kind of like that old school kiddish hillary dove show and back in your teens back in your cheerleader outfit she just didn't want to do it no, I don't blame her no. for that, and I don't. I mean, blame like, her look, for look not... at Girl Meets World, that or yeah. Girl Meets or whatever. That that didn't do very good, and they and they were trying to keep that old, still kind of yeah. And that's style. kind of my point it of it is work. like it would have actually been better had she gotten her way. I think to get the changes made because, like you said, I, and that was my thing about it is like the same thing of like even Stevens. Even Stevens was a great show. I don't think it should come back. 
It's you no, know, it's that past the time. Stay dead. It's just past the time for those shows. Those shows have all lived their time. It's kind of like Darcy, you know what I mean? Darcy was great for its time. I don't think Darcy has a place anymore uh, in the current run. Like Darcy is good as a retro reminder of like the way right. that that media was at that time. Uh-huh. Uh, Having said that, with an updated visage, right? Like, kind of how the Animatics have updated their kind of like scope into the modern day. Those have day. been pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you watched? Have you checked a couple of the episodes? Yeah, yet? I've seen a couple of them now. <clears throat> the first one was the still probably my favorite, good. but yep. they they do a pretty good job of keeping it old while making it new, which is we talk about the story. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. yeah, that's the real difference is making sure to uh, take that time to do new things but also hit the old nostalgic pieces that made you great in the first place mm-hmm. um what else do we got um i i carly's coming back <laughs> i did i did hear about that i didn't know if they were 100 percent green lit on it though sounds like the all the original stars are returning as well so that that would be uh that'd be cool um oh spy along the spider-man news so what do you think about the three different spider-mans that they're supposedly and andrew garfield confirmed he's coming back well, yeah, but there's gotten... no for sure co- confirmation from to- Tobey Maguire, but there's been rumors of him being on set with the Spider-Man outfit. Here's, here's the thing. Tobey Maguire's bitch ass has been living in a trailer in a Spider-Man <laughs> suit for five years waiting for this shit. Let's be honest. Let's be fa- No, I'm just giving him shit. But realistically, and no offense to him, when was the last thing you saw with Toby, Toby fucking Maguire? I haven't seen him in anything, actually. No, now that I think he's, about it, yeah. He, and that's no offense to him. It might even be by choice. But yeah. he just really hasn't been anything, and I don't think there's any reason for him to, to not accept this. Now, he might not out of, for whatever reason, but to be fair, he's the only in Spider-Man with three movies already. Yeah. And this will just give him a fourth Spider-Man movie. <laughs> so right. he'll still be the best Spider-Man with the most, uh, well, not solo movies, but still, is <laughs> you get my point here in that, uh, you know, Tobey Maguire has no real reason not to. I feel like I think he's usually a pretty loose and chill actor and guy. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, how would you have got him to do that dance scene in Number Three? I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how they got him to do that. He's like, bro, he should have said, like, I'm not doing that. Look, this, we're, not, we're not putting that in the movie. <laughs> this cannot go in the movie. Just skip it. Make me punch somebody. They'll they'll hate me less. Uh, like, well, like, I want to <laughs> say one last thing then. But uh, are, so are you still enjoying Cyberpunk then? Uh, yeah, no, it's still it's a good yeah. game. I, and it, 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 here's my it thing well. with here's my thing with the online stuff. And it's always people's problems on both ends is there's always like these extremists of like this game is garbage. And then there's people like this game is like the best game ever made. And it's like it's a good game. It has a fairly high amount of glitches and issues with its like internal functioning, which yeah, is I mean, it's typical open world. Game. Right. Yeah, it's typical of open world games like this, as well as games that use really high fidelity assets yes that's exactly this game is really trying to go for like they want you to feel like you're in this yeah 27 7 um and it feels real the world does feel real to the, me with no all... it's a well-built world the map and the infrastructure of the map like there's a bunch of good stuff i could go on for a while about it and i'm supposed to do another whole another like uh just a cyberpunk like episode podcast for with somebody else another reviewer who's just like what did you think about cyberpunk and i was like well we'll talk about it on on a video because i don't want to spend three right. hours talking just cyberpunk yeah, yeah. and not get a video yeah. out of it but uh um, at the end of the day it has a, a lot of glitches and a lot of really good things about it there's a lot of really cool things right. in the game that had that right. show right. the amount of work my criticisms go back to the things that we already knew that this was not a completed game Despite yes. what they were saying, we knew this game was not completed by the fact that they kept delaying it, accepting that and moving on to wait for the next couple patches for everything to get smoothed out, which some things have already been smoothed out. I will say yeah. there's a couple of irritating parts for me personally in my my run, but and a couple of personal preference things on the game design. But overall, the game gets probably like a 7.5 for me because it delivers right it's worth the money you spend you'll spend a commensurate amount of hours in this oh, game yeah. easily so playing through 
Uh, it, there's just a lot of playability. There's so a lot many of side endings. missions. Oh yeah, dude, I did all the side missions, all of them. I have a ninety-hour fucking run for the recording or some shit. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh yeah, yeah. Find Slappy the gun. Yep, I got all the guns, pretty much. All the cars, all the guns, all the side missions. I gotta go back and try like the different versions because there's different. Oh yeah. Playthroughs. There's different. Yeah, like there is different. Yeah. And even in the side missions, yeah. So like some things you can kill someone or not kill someone. And once again, we could go into Cyberpunk for hours uh because there's it's a big game with a lot going on and once again definitely definitely worth the money definitely ambitious definitely has its mistakes like almost any other game but just for the recommend playing on old gens right now because that's the one that that, seems to be struggling the worst and this is something that they the the, once again in more of a design issue the the problem is these games were originally designed for the old gen. Yeah, and, that's, and then that's they've what's been up. no, they were really yeah, they were pushed marketed and pushed for those and pushed old forward, ones. and so it sucks because of that. But otherwise, had they just cut, made the cut, and said, "Look, you're not going to be able to play this on the old gen," or yeah, or or delayed release on those gens for another six months to optimize or reduce quality, because. It's not like it it's isn't in, very unplayable on those old gens. I mean, I've heard the it, frame rate is so bad, bad that like somebody it's, shot that, and he couldn't even kill nobody because it kept missing them because the frame rate was so bad. And there's there's other things once again that we could get into with the minor mechanic workings and the fluidity of the gameplay and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it could the fill buttons. The buttons a need little a little bit more, bit more uh, snappiness. Yeah, or something. I mean, when I play Destiny and then I play Cyberpunk, you, you can, can tell, feel like, the difference and be like X. X. Hit the X button. <laughs> but or so. just a slight delay in like, all right. There's my there's my movement. But besides that, once again, there and the, these things hopefully being improved over time will mm-hmm. make for this game to eventually be one of the better games of Yeah. I mean the they year. did it with Witcher 3. Witcher 3 was a big mess when it came out and it ended up being the game of the year. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think this one's gonna make game of the year just because it has some pretty stiff competition. Yeah, it, it, you know the the news and everything all over it really messed it up, that, honestly. There's uh, a lot it, going it's on. It's gonna be with very it. hard for it was, them to kind of come back. This one, this one was a big promise, right? And that was yes. the bigger problem is the Witcher was never this huge promise. No. Like, like it was it, well, it, at I least no, I not think as big the fans too overhyped it you know overhype can be a killer <laughs> and that's the, my problem with people online right now is like i'm not at all shitting on the game but the people who what i see is people going like i don't like this game and it has these bugs and this and they're like ah you have a toaster what are you playing it on a ps4 it's like no i actually have a pc that's able to run it i don't have a 3070 or anything but i have uh a f- gtx or i have a you know what i mean that is able to run this i have a good uh processor and i still just get glitches and bugs sometimes just as with yeah. any open world game right assets get mixed up you have something running in a loop with its ai or some shit it happens uh the issue is we've had so much time for the playing and to- and polishing that we we after however many years kind of expect this game to be done yeah, and exactly. we're and we're impatient for it, and that's the other thing. If people are impatient, so it's like, well, yeah, that's kind of what messed them up too. Is releasing the game, I think, still too early because the fans just kept egging them on, like, "Well, when's the game coming out? When's it, the game coming out? When's I mean, the game coming out?" And I mean, but it's both ends. It wasn't just that the fans are like, "When's the game coming out?" They'd be like, "When's the game coming out?" And Cyberpunk be like, "February," and then they'd be like, "Oh, my bad. Nope, not February." Yeah, and that's yeah. on them. That's, they, that's, 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 that's something, yeah, that they that's should the company's just, just fault, no. unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. The, at the end of the day, you as a company cannot just uh, break down because of whatever some fans say, right? And it really right. is not all fans, right? It's just the vocal right. minority online. Yeah, and then I guess two investors, too, you know. Probably. Investors, is, but, and uh, that's the other thing. After 13 years, this game, that's why I say it has the money. Is it's got like 13 years of development in this game. Uh-huh. It's a huge amount of time and money invested in this game that they needed it to do exceptionally well in order to recoup those investments. Now, obviously, yeah. there's a pretty decently high margin already on games, but uh, they their investors are expecting Witcher returns. You know what I mean? That's what uh-huh. they're looking for is a nice long term. And this game will eventually reach those margins, I think. Not in a proportional sense, but in the general sense. 
But and then yeah, they, two I think also too is just like we didn't have any games to look forward for this year, and I think this was the game that everyone just was really looking forward to playing this year. It's pretty much the only game that was re- releasing this year, and in the sense of like larger i mean you had other little things yeah here and there, but i think but... that's also why i got such high spot spotlight too is just oh, because absolutely. they're really just Every, so... trust me that we we had discussed it as part of our gaming unit and it was like all right well, what are we doing for the next run and it's like the only thing coming out is cyberpunk that's literally it everything else is dead and it's like all right well we're getting cyberpunk and playing cyberpunk okay cool like that and so you have people ready to stream like i remember when it downloaded forever because of the servers on steam it was not bueno uh, I actually got to get going though here soon. But yeah, yeah, yeah I think that's all I kind of wanted to say too with Cyberpunk. Um, we could talk a little bit more about it on the next stream. Uh, yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, still enjoying it even with its bugs. And uh, again, I, I have high hopes that they'll patch everything and they got some more patches coming yeah. out in January. I'm, and uh, yeah, I can't wait for the enhanced version of Xbox because right now we're still playing like on uh, Xbox uh, One backwards compatibility kind of graphics. Okay, and stuff, yeah, that, so that'll be the enhanced version just yet and see for me i'm playing currently oh i just switched up because i'm not streaming anymore i finished my 90 hour stream doing the whole stupid missions and uh so now i'm going through and doing my second run because there's different options obviously of Mm -hmm. all the all the different stuff and in this run i've popped it back up to high now which is causing a bit of frame spiking so it might go down <laughs> but it's just rough like i still gotta wait i'm still waiting for those 3070s to come in but it's great and i am gonna get ready to play my second run here in a bit so it's still a good game and definitely worth buying and playing it's just like any game you shouldn't go into it thinking it's perfect there's always going to be ups and downs for any game like no there yeah. are no perfect games that, uh, look at bethesda <laughs> <laughs> they, they, were be, they were the ones that were being talked shit on i think and now it's cd red project to but be I, fair I, bethesda i still think <laughs> fucked up way worse than than this uh, oh but that's the fall, yeah fallout, fallout terrible, yeah that terrible, that's just yeah. my opinion though uh but yeah thank you everybody who was watching hopefully we get to do this again next time for to really break down some cyberpunk maybe next time they'll have a patch out because they did say they wanted a patch out near end of december early january yeah. There's already been about three now for the console yeah, they, so far. Oh, for console, yeah. There have been some mini patches for the PC, but nothing that I've noticed any changes, really, or differences. But, yeah, thank you guys, and we'll see you next time on Comic Convos. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.